Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, recently, a subscriber by the name, or the username anyway, of Sirico reached out and asked if I could take a look at setting up a, uh, a game server for a new game that's come out recently called Valheim. So here we are on the Steam homepage for Valheim. Uh, we can see that this was released on February 2nd, but it is still an early access game. So uh, I know some people don't like to give money to early access games, and I get that. Uh, but I did it but mostly because it was only 20 bucks. Um, but if you're not sure what Valheim is, think of it like um, a, a better looking, in my opinion, a better looking version of Minecraft. Um, instead of being all 8-bit uh, or whatever, uh, this, this definitely has a different look to it uh, that's a bit more, uh, well, a bit more not a, 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 a bit. So uh, setting up a server for this is actually super, super easy. Um, so what we'll do is we'll jump over to the stack I created. Now, originally this, um, let me come over to here. So originally uh, this is uh, over here on GitHub um, and, and there's all this information here. Uh, this will be linked in the description down below. Uh, and, and the reason for that primarily is because there's a bunch of environmental environment because there's a bunch of environmental variables down here uh, that you may want to take advantage of for your setup uh, i'm only using some of them uh for testing purposes and things like that right now but uh, I, I definitely encourage you to come in here and take a look at uh, some of the different uh, variables that you can put in to your stack but if we scroll up here a little bit uh, there are some instructions on how to deploy this uh, using uh, command line. Uh, of course, we don't like to use command line very often if we don't have to. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, rewrote this as a Docker Compose stack. So what we can do is uh, we'll just click raw right here. And like I said, all of this will be available in the description down below. <clears throat> so we'll come over here to Portainer. Uh, we're going to add a stack. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to paste that in there <clears throat> and I'll give it a name. So uh, version two stack services Valheim images uh, this name slash Valheim server container name is Valheim restart always environment uh, for the server name um, I'm just gonna call it DB Tech because I'm super original and and for the world name guess what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna call it DB Tech as well uh, the password um, this there are is actually um, a requirement for the password uh, if we come down here to the server pass. It uh, needs to be a minimum of five characters. I believe otherwise it will default to something else. Um, oh, otherwise it will refuse to start. Um, so make sure that whatever your password is, it's at least five characters. So we'll come back over to our stack here. Uh, I'm just gonna be uh, super original and just say password. Uh, server public, I've got that set to zero. Um, if you want this to be public and available on the internet, first you'll have to set the server public to one. Also, you'll have to forward uh, ports 2456, 2457, and 2458 uh, from your uh, modem and router to your server uh, in order to make this accessible from the internet. So that's something to keep in mind as well if you want this to be accessible uh, outside uh, your home. So again, just something to keep in mind there. Uh, DNS, uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they say over here. Um, Oh, this is just for system D. So um, I've got mine set up to uh, point to Cloudflare. Uh, and then below that, we've got volumes. I actually need to change this volume. So what I'm going to do is come over. Uh, I'm logged into Mighty Mouse right now. Uh, so I'm just going to log into my portainer, or sorry, my, my OMV, hopefully. So go ahead and get logged in here, like so. And really, all I'm looking for is uh, my shared folder uh, path for configs here. Uh, so I'm just going to right click. Uh, go to inspect and drag this up <clears throat> and we can see that it's right here so i'm just gonna oops i'm just gonna double click in there right click and go to copy come back over here to portainer and i'm just gonna replace that uh, so this is the new path for my system yours will be different than that of course so make sure that you map that uh, that that volume appropriately uh, and then once you've got all of that set up uh, that's it. I mean, of course, you could go back and add uh, additional variables here for uh, backups and things like that. Uh, you could change your update interval, uh, things like that. There, there are some definite, definite uh, things you could add. We're not going to do any of that for right now. So I'm going to come back over to Portainer and click on Deploy the Stack. Of course, I've already downloaded this image, so it'll go fairly quickly for me. Uh, of course, yours will take longer than that the first time you download the image. So just hang out and wait for it to finish. Uh, then we can come over to here. Uh, I'm going to uh, just take a look and see what's going on here. 
So it looks like uh, it is still deploying, so that's good. We can just kind of give this a minute to to do its thing, and uh, then I think um, here in just a moment we can uh, take a look at modifying Steam. In fact, you know what? Let's modify Steam uh, while we're hanging out and waiting here. So here is my Steam. Uh, I'm going to scroll down until I find Valheim. Do, do, do. So it looks like there's an update uh, queued for this. So that's that's something. So what I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to go to properties and then launch options. Um, you need to put in plus connect. Uh, by, by default, it's just going to be empty. Uh, so you need to put in plus connect and then your IP address of your server and then your port. So I'm going to change this to 240 because that's the, the uh, IP address of Mighty Mouse. Um, and then once you've got that, you can actually uh, just go ahead and click on close uh, right up here in the top right corner. And it looks like we're going to have to manually update that. So we'll let it do its thing. Now, here's the thing. This game's only a gig to download. Uh, and that update was less than four megs. Um, so that's that's good. So let's come back over here. It uh, looks like Valheim is has started. So that's good. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to see just real quickly here. Uh, do if I can do these. Of course, this isn't going to last very long, um, but I'll click uh, play anyway. <clears throat> and the game is actually loading uh, in this other screen over here. <clears throat> so while it's loading, uh, we should be able to see uh, some things going on in the, uh, the server here. Uh, of course, here is my character. Um, let's, you know what, let, let's do this. Let me go back. I'm going to change some settings here uh, just to make this small enough to fit. All right, so here we are. We're running at 720p. Um, <clears throat> right here we can see this update. IP, IP parse checks was, oh, it looks like some other stuff here. So there were some updates. So if I click on start game, uh, it's going to bring me to my character, or I believe I may be able to create a new character. I'm just going to click on start. Oops, click cancel. Back. Just had to restart the game. For some reason, that's what it took in order to uh, to get it to connect to the server. So again, some troubleshooting stuff. Sometimes that happens. Um, so I tried to connect. It didn't connect. I exited the game, brought the game back up, and now it's asking me for my password, uh, which of course is password. Um, <clears throat> so as this loads, uh, we should be able to see some stuff going on uh, over, over here in the uh, background for the server. So we'll give this a second to load. Uh, again, this is an early access game. There it goes. So I feel cold. There we go. And you can you can kind of see some stuff going on in the background there uh, in the logs for the server. But of course, it's nighttime here and it's it's dark and cold and whatnot. Okay, guys, so there you go. There's how to set up a Valheim server on your Docker machine. Uh, this will give you the chance to play between one and 10 players simultaneously on your local network. Of course, if you wanted to, you could uh, make this accessible to the internet uh, and, and have, again, up to 10 players. That's a, a limitation of the game, uh, not necessarily the hardware. They've just made it so you can play with up to 10 people. So, uh, again, that's how to set up Valheim. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, again, the game is in early access, so uh, take that with a grain of salt with what you want to do with that. But again, it's only 20 bucks, so that's up to you. Uh, so again, I want to give a big shout out uh, to the subscriber uh, who, who brought this to my attention. Thank you for that. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Uh, also, like I mentioned, all of the resources you'll need for this will be available in the description down below. So definitely check that out. And of course, while you're down there, uh, definitely check out a couple of different ways uh, that are available to, to support the channel if you want to do that. Of course, there's coffee as a one-time tip, but there's also Patreon if you want to become a patron and support the channel that way. So however you want to do that, whatever works for you, of course, you're never obligated. My content will always be available to everybody. So uh, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.